Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to export products using WPL Export. So we'll go to All Export, New Export, and then choose WooCommerce Products. And we can only export the products that we need by filtering. So if we only wanted to export products uh, in a certain category, products in a certain price range, um, really, we can filter based on anything. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and export everything and keep it simple. So here in step two, we control which data ends up in our exported file. So rather than exporting everything and ending up with a messy file, we can only choose to export certain data. So let's say I just want to export the ID title, SKU product type, and price. I'll just drag price over. And now I'll preview. And now we have a very clean export that really only contains the data that we need. So let's say we were going to bulk edit this data in Excel. This way, it's much easier. It's not a mess. So I also want to export uh, some data from Yoast SEO. So WPL Export can integrate with any third-party plugin. Yoast SEO is just storing uh, the data in a custom field. So I'll just take that and drag it over. And that's now going to be included in my exported file. So we'll continue to step three. And uh, WPL Export has an iterative export process, so it's going to process 50 records each iteration. So in simple terms, that just means it won't break your server. Even if you need to export 20,000 products, it'll do it in small chunks, and uh, it'll be fine even on shared hosting. So the data has been exported. Let's download the CSV and take a look at the exported data. And that's it. That's how simple it is to export products using WPL Export. So once you've exported your products, one thing you can do is uh, mass edit them in bulk in Excel to update their data and then re-import them. So for example, let's say I want to change the price of this product to, let's say, 60 for all variations. So I'll just copy and paste that down. And then let's say I also want to add a sale price to this product. And let's say I want to make that price, uh, let's say, 45 copy and paste that down for all the variations and save this. Now what I can do is uh, go to All Export, Manage Exports, and then click Import with WPL Import. And this allows me to import the data that I just edited uh, back into the same place I exported it from. So WPL export uh, generates an import template that ensures all the uh, settings you need are automatically filled out in WPL import. Since I added a sale price here, I'm just going to drag the sale price field over to the sale price field in WPL import. And then in step four, uh, I need to choose how the exported data is going to be re-imported. For example, um, what's going to be updated, what's going to be overwritten. So I also want to make sure, since I added the sale price, that we're updating the regular price and the sale price. So I'll do that, continue, and confirm and run the import. And the import's now complete. Let's go over to products. And now we can see the price previously was uh, 55. Now it's list price of 60 and sale price of 45. So that's how easy it is to mass edit data uh, and re-import it. And then to wrap up this video, I want to show you two more quick features. One is download import templates. So what this does is allow you to re-import the exported data on another website with WPL import. You download these import templates and you can use them on any WPL import installation. And the last thing is cron scheduling. So you can use a cron job to run your export automatically on a schedule, and then you can always access the latest exported data at this URL. Okay, that's everything. Happy exporting.